Okay, hi everyone. So this is FBD six. I skip FBD five because I plan to leave it as an exercise for you to see whether you understand what I'm saying. So let's keep it fast. Okay. So the object is the ladder. If the object is a ladder, we draw a line that is similar to the direction of the ladder itself. Okay. Then we label the force. Ask ourselves five questions. First question: Does it have mass? Yes. So mass is always pointing downwards, therefore, from the center, pointing downwards. Next thing, is there any cable, strings, ropes? No, can't see anything. It says ladder and wall and floor. No ropes, no tension. Next thing, any, ex any force being explicitly stated? No, I don't see any F inside this diagram. Next thing, uh, next thing is friction. Do you think there's friction here? If you're not sure, you don't want to label it first, that's fine. You're not sure whether there's friction or not. You didn't mention anything. So you skip friction. Next, uh, reaction force. Okay, reaction force here, if you look at here, there's contact here and there's contact here. But if you look at it, the contact here is not in the form of a hinge. Usually when you have a hinge, you usually see something like this. Okay, there's like a hinge here. And usually if it's a hinge, then we call it reaction force. But in this case, right, we don't see any hinge. It's just, it's just, uh, uh, what do you call it? Sandar on the, on the wall. So, in this case, we can just use normal then, okay, normal force. So if you zoom in on the ladder, this part of the ladder, what you see is something like this. So this is the wall, so the surface of the wall is like this, this is the surface of the wall, so normal force perpendicular to the surface this direction or this direction the ladder the wall the wall is pushing the ladder in this direction so that the, the ladder will fall like this if there's no wall the ladder will fall so this wall is here to push in that direction so that this ladder don't fall okay so the direction is So direction of the normal is here. Next thing, there's also a contact surface here. So if we zoom in on the contact surface, it's something like this. So if this is a surface, the surface is this one. So you get perpendicular to the surface. Up or down, quite obvious. The floor is preventing the ladder from falling down. So the wall, the floor must be exerting a force upwards to prevent this ladder from falling down. Okay, so your normal force should be pointing upwards. Let's call this normal one and call this normal two. Okay, so we have finished asking five questions, so we might think that that is the final free body diagram. But let's think about it harder. Just now we skipped a question on frictional force, right? Whether there's any friction or not. Now, I think from this diagram itself, we can sort of deduce whether we need friction or not. Okay, let's take a look. Um, we say this ladder is lying on the wall, right? Means by it's not moving. If it's not moving, means by the sum of f must be equal to zero. If the sum of f is equal to zero, means by the sum of fx is equal to zero, the sum of fy is equal to zero. So let's see whether it's possible or not. Okay, let's look at sum of fy first. Sum of fy, you have this as up, this as down. So you have an up, you have a down, it's possible that they can cancel each other off. So sum of fy is possible to be zero. Okay, so now things looks okay. 
But let's go to sum of fx. In sum of fx, the normal one is pointing in this direction, but there's nothing to point in the opposite direction to cancel out the sum, to cancel out the force in the x direction. So now if this is if we leave it like this, then there will be a net force pointing to the left already. Cannot. We cannot have net force pointing to the left, or else the ladder will be moving to the left, which doesn't really make sense. So knowing that we can reasonably deduce that there should be friction here which is static friction to prevent to balance out the normal one okay these two forces will balance each other out cancel each other out so that's the free body diagram for this ladder they only give you l they give you theta so you can label this as theta if you label this as theta because n1 and fs are parallel that's why you can label this as theta as well then you can label this as half of l and you can label this as half over l okay so that's it for free body diagram for a ladder a classic example um, this one what's missing is the Static friction. Without static friction, nothing will cancel. Nothing will cancel out this normal one. If nothing cancels out the normal one, the ladder will be moving already because the sum of fx is not equal to zero. Okay, this diagram is correct, but uh, probably you don't need to draw this thing. The ground you don't need to draw. You draw the object is enough. You don't need to draw the well, the wall as well. Because it might be confusing, people might think this is a triangle object, but no, the object is only this thing here. This is the object. Next thing I want to point out is normal one and normal two, they are different things, so you should write normal one and normal two and label the distance as well. Okay, next diagram here. So this one is a bit confusing you have your reaction force okay it's reasonable if you want to call it reaction i don't recommend it because there's no hinge there's no pivot but if you call it a reaction force then you don't need to have normal force you don't need to have static friction anymore it's either you write a reaction force or you resolve it into the normal and the static friction you either write these two without the reaction force or you write the reaction force without writing the normal and static friction okay you can write both then they are redundant already. okay then the normal seems fine the, the weight seems fine as well again label the distance next okay i mean the diagram is it's it's difficult to read because your force arrow your arrow force should come out from the object things shouldn't have arrow half half like this you shouldn't draw arrow like this okay arrow should be coming out from the object 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 you shouldn't have this kind of crosses like this and you need to draw the wall you need to draw the ground no need, no need okay so that's all for fbd number six thank you very much